Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa. Today we start a new life cycle. Let's see if you can guess which insect we'll be learning about this week. That's right, we're gonna learn about the life cycle of a bee. And our story today is called are you a bee? Written by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a bee? Perhaps you are a honeybee. If so, your mother is a queen. She looks like this and she lays eggs. Your life began inside one of her eggs. When you hatch, you are not a pretty sight. You are a larva. You are in a small room with six walls. It's called a cell. Your older sisters bring food. Eat it and grow. Grow until you fill your cell. One of your older sisters puts a wax ceiling on your cell. Inside your closed cell, you change a lot. When you are ready, chew a hole in the ceiling and climb out. Now you look like a bee. You have a hairy body with stripes six legs and four wings. And you have two feelers on your head. You have a stinger. You are not alone. You have a few hundred brothers and thousands of sisters. You live in a nest built by your older sisters. Your nest might be a hollow tree. It might hang down from a tree branch. Most likely, it will be inside a hive. Your brothers are drones. They don't do much. You and your sisters are workers. You do everything. You clean the nest, feed the larvae, take care of the queen, and build new cells. You fan the nest with your wings to cool it in the summer. You guard the nest to keep out strange bees. Busy, busy, busy. Leave the nest to fetch food from flowers. How will you know where to look? Your sisters will make up a dance to tell you. Watch the dance carefully. Don't worry, you'll understand it. You're a bee. There is a sweet liquid in flowers. It's called nectar and it's hidden deep inside. This is not a problem. You have a long tongue. You can reach it. You also have a special stomach to carry it in. You'll get pollen dust all over you. Scrape it off with your front legs and put it in the pollen baskets on your back legs. When you get home, your sisters will help you put the nectar and the pollen into storage cells. Mix some of the nectar with pollen to make bee bread. Leave the rest of the nectar to turn into honey. Bee bread is good to eat. So is honey. If you find a new patch of flowers, be sure to tell your sisters. How? Dance, of course. More eggs hatch. More larvae turn into bees. The nest gets very crowded. What will happen next? What do you guys think? The old queen, your mother, leaves. She takes you and a lot of your sisters with her. Deep in the nest, a royal larva is hatching. She is in a different kind of cell and she is fed rich food called royal jelly. When she becomes a bee, she is a young queen. She flies away and mates with drones from another nest so that she can lay eggs. When she flies home again, she will be the new queen. Fly with your sisters. Follow the old queen. Stay together. You are part of a swarm. When the queen stops, swarm around her. Now you must build a new nest. But where? Maybe the queen will send scout bees to find a good place. Or maybe a beekeeper will find you and take you all to an empty hive. Why is this beekeeper dressed like this? in case you get flustered and try to sting. However, if your mother looks a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a bee. You are a human child. You do not have a hairy body with stripes on it. You do not have a long tongue. You do not have a stinger. It is very unlikely that you have hundreds of brothers and thousands of sisters. 
but you can do a lot of things that a bee can't do. You can still eat bread and honey, but you'll never have to fetch your food from flowers. Best of all, you don't have to be busy, busy, busy all day long. Did you know bees are happy to live in a hive because the beekeeper has already built part of the nest for them. If bees live in a hollow tree, they have to build the whole nest themselves. And a worker bee can sting only once, then it dies, but a queen bee can sting many times. Bees carry pollen from flower to flower on their furry bodies. The pollen from one flower rubs off onto others and makes seeds, which will grow into new plants. The average worker bee makes one and a half teaspoons of honey in her lifetime. Now, let's go review the life cycle of a bee. All right, my little scientists, let's use my Safari life cycle of a bee set to review the steps in the life cycle. Do you remember how a bee starts its life cycle? Yes, that's right. Just like the other life cycles we've been studying, this life cycle also starts with an egg. The queen bee lays between 1,500 and 2,000 pin-sized eggs, each in their own cell. Then, after three to four days, the eggs hatch into larva. So the eggs are each put in their own cells and then they hatch into larva. And if you can see, they kind of are circular like this. Do you see what they look like when they're larva? So these are all in their own little cells. This is just a bigger version. And the larva are fed by worker bees. Next is the pupa. At this stage, the pupa doesn't eat, but it begins losing its worm shape and starts to develop its eyes, wings, and legs. And then finally, the adult bee. And adult bees have different jobs and different lifespans. So some live longer and some live shorter depending on their jobs. Females live to 20 to 40 days and take care of the young bees and guard the hive entrance. Or they can be field workers that collect the pollen, nectar, and water. The drone bees live 30 to 90 days and the only thing that they have to do is mate with the queen. Now, you can use the materials in this week's packet to put together your own life cycle of a bee. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.